Hello everybody, welcome back. Um, it took me a couple seconds, a little longer than I expected actually. Um, the Battle.net launcher just didn't want to launch for some reason, <laughs> but here we are, back in Whale. Um, I have no idea where I actually left off my character because I was kind of doing other stuff. And then I kind of just turned off and haven't been back on since. Um, I might actually be halfway on a flight path to Rust Bolt. So we're just going to Hearthstone over to uh, Ice Cram. Kind of excited about finally finishing off the first of my uh, Margin Crusade, like, rep grind stuff. Still got a good chunk of stuff to go. Um, I think I worked out on a previous stream, like, it's a thousand Argent coins or whatever, and you can earn 21 a day max. I think it might actually be way less than that. I think that guide I was reading is outdated, all those extra stuff I don't know about. I'm pretty sure there's far less than 20 a day. I think we're on like 98, 97, something like that. Like it's really, really close. Um, 97, yeah. So literally just doing the dungeon would be enough to uh, get us there. So we're just going to finish this uh, flight path. I have no idea what the last thing I was doing on this character was, apparently. Third highest DPS? Top damage, though. <laughs> I don't think I've done my raid for the day. It must have been, um, thingy. Oh, yeah. I did, um... The battle for somewhere or other, because I've started trying to farm for the, um... That's probably really loud. Apologies. I've kind of been farmed for the... I can't remember what they're called service medals. Because I really want to get the Krollusk mount. I think it looks really cool. I was using one as a pet for a while, but they're just not as good as like other things. Um... Yes, this one. I'm not actually far off from doing it. I think I'm like 70 something. I oh know, 62, uh, 62 service medals off. I think it looks really cool. I think it might be one of my favourite mounts from the BFA, like, a lot. I do really like the Malevolent Drone, too. Like, all the, um... All this stuff looks really cool. And that one as well, but... That's, like, a month-long thing. I just haven't done any of it, because I don't like doing the Nihilotha stuff. Not solo, anyway. Like, when you're doing it in a group, it can be quite fun, but so can literally any game. I just don't enjoy doing the Nihilotha content solo. And I'm actually slightly worried about that from a, um, a mount collecting standpoint, because apparently, from what I was reading the other day, I might be wrong, but the horrific visions are going away, along with, like, the cloak and a whole bunch of other stuff, which means what's the point in the assaults as well? So are the assaults are going away too? Because if the assaults are going away, then there's like seven mounts that are literally never going to be acquirable again. Unless you get them before Shadowlands comes out, or before the Shadowlands pre-patch. Which really isn't, like, now isn't a long time to go and sit and farm them, and considering you can only get them, like, you only have a chance to get them like once a week, whatever, per character. For me right now, that is, um, I can do it on two characters really isn't many. But we have no idea how many more weeks we have before the Shadowlands pre-patch. If all of those are going away, and Horrific Visions, that's Mail Muncher is unacquirable, plus everything from both assaults. It's a lot. Like, I wasn't so bothered when it was just, uh, oh yeah, you can't get the ahead of the curve mount or whatever anymore. I was just like, okay, whatever. I'm not gonna pay 100,000 gold to some dude for him to, like, carry me through raid. <laughs> because I don't have a guild that's available to go and do stuff. Like, I'm just not gonna bother doing it. At the end of the day, it will be one more mount towards my collection, but at the same time it's also a mount that I can do without, because there's still so many other mounts I can work towards. gonna take my gold for now. I'll sort out all my auctions. Um, 
off stream, more than likely. Kind of want to get on with the stuff over in the Argent Crusade. Oh yeah, I think I mentioned um, during the Halo section of this stream about that I made some progress, and for those that have been paying attention, I have actually moved one more mount towards the goal. Um, so my other alt that's like leveled up to 120 is at 42, no, 430 now, my Demon Hunter, is on the Horde side, because I wanted to play through the Horde campaign. But all the gold that she has earned by farm, by, you know, by me farming dungeons on that character is like locked to that character because you can't transfer gold over to the Alliance. Which makes sense to some degree, but at the same time it's really irritating I can't just send gold between my characters. Like that character isn't in a guild. I don't really do anything with that character apart from playing through like story content and farming dungeons, so why does it matter that I can not like, you know, sending of that gold makes, from a, like, thematic standpoint, you know, in the lore and all the rest of it, it makes sense, sure. But from a gameplay standpoint, it's just really irritating. Like, I just want to be able to send my gold to my main, but uh, you can't do that. So instead, I spent it on a Ruby Panther, I believe it is. The, um, one of the jewel crafting mounts from Pandaria. Because it turns out... These really cool looking like panther mounts, they're all made out of gemstones, the jewel crafting stuff. You have to do the uh, cloud serpent rep farm, which um, I've already done on this character and I don't really want to do it again. <laughs> you know? It took me a long time to do that rep grind, I'm not doing that rep grind a second time just to get some panther mounts. Oh, I spelled Panther wrong. That's good. So instead, what I'm just going to do is, any money I save up on my Horde character, I'm just going to buy these on the auction house when I see them pop up. I got this one for like 30000 or something. Which was the majority of the money my Horde character had, but I don't use it for anything on that character other than transmog and repairs for armor if she dies. But she very rarely dies because I just run old content with it, basically. But there's a few of these you can get. Um, pretty sure that one's super expensive at all times. And then there's the sapphire and the sunstone ones. The ruby one was the main one I wanted to get, so... Happy I've got that one. Now I just need to pick up the other ones, you know. When I can, just... To help push me along towards that 200 mount number. Which are actually not far off, and after today we should be at 169. Then we're uh, pretty damn close to that number. Also, I still haven't really done anything from Time Walking. Like, I've got a lot of Time Walking badges. Like, you know, half what I need to buy a mount, basically. But I've... oh, damn it! Been really unlucky in the actual drops, because I really want to get that, um, the Time Reaver, Weaver, whatever it is, the, like, basically a black version of the, uh, Drakes of the Wind. Good fortune. Greetings. It's part of the Infinite Dragonfly or whatever, it looks really cool. It's one of the only ones of the, like, Drakes of the Wind I'm missing, so it would be really nice to get that and just sort of tick off another box, basically. Yeah, I've also been doing that, like, every day. Because the, um... Brain just stopped working. The rep grind to actually get the Argent Crusade stuff is taking way longer than, like, the Silver Covenant. Because you get the Silver Covenant, rep, Silver Covenant rep for doing just everything here, where he's gonna get Argent Crusade for those, like, five quests. And you get given gold, like, constantly from just doing these quests. Like, 10 gold per quest or whatever. Or per, uh, reward bag. I'm still getting... 
I was still earning more gold from doing these missions than I am like spending on that, which is nice. I also need to do more research into the acquisition of the service medals because I think I read somewhere that you can get them from island expeditions weekly. I seen you starting island expedition grinds, so if I could do both of those together, that would be really nice because there is other mounts you can buy with the service medals, not just the Krolisk thing. Krolisk is the main one I want, obviously, but I think there's two different like tiger mounts as well. And one of those has got like a whole bunch of cool looking armor on it. I think it's all like Alune themed, like moon shapes and stuff. Might be kind of cool to have as well. I wonder if you can just search service metal in the thing and bring up all of them. I haven't tried it. So I think I mentioned before, I think it'd be cool to be able to get the Horde mounts from the Urgent Crusade. I'm out of range. And obviously you're getting them from your like specific uh, city factions or whatever. There's still like more, um, more raptors and stuff on the Alliance side because they are cool. Because we do get like the weird saber tooth tiger looking things, but much prefer the raptors. What can I do for you or the alliance? You need something? Be careful. Hello. See you around. Something else I mentioned in the Halo stream is I have become like more interested in kind of just doing all my WoW stuff on the stream. Because it means it's like 100% documented, like when I was playing um, over the past few days and doing like the other grinds and stuff I haven't done on stream, like uh, Zulgrub for the past few days or whatever, I've been like really weird doing it because I kind of don't want to get a mount off stream because then I don't have any recorded evidence of that. Apart from like today where I've kind of just gone in and explained where I got it from and all the rest of it. Which I suppose I could do with Zulgrub, but... Kind of just wanting to preserve it more for, like, stream stuff now. Which is fine, I mean... Like I was doing before, WoW was kind of... There to help put a structure in place, basically. And now I kind of have the structure in place, and... Streaming is kind of a part of that structure now. It kind of makes sense to just kind of preserve it for stream content, really. Come yeah, on. I think it's the Iron Forge one that's like slightly broken. Like they, you can't um, charge them or whatever. I don't know. I haven't fought the Iron Forge guys in ages because I remember them being broken for some reason. I do need to look at other um, grinds and stuff I can start working towards. Because there is not a lot left in like old content apart from stuff I don't really want to do yet. I know eventually I'm going to have to do uh, Shatari Skyguard as much as I don't want to. And then eventually I'm going to have to start grinding the um, the Legion reps, because I've basically ran out of reps to grind in BFA. You know, I think I'm literally just missing three from what I remember. I think I mentioned it previously. Yeah, three. I'm not far off that one. I missed yesterday's, I think, so we're still like five days off or something. So it should line up for Friday, specifically. 
nice way to end the um, the weekly streams with finishing the Rust Bowl wrap and going and getting the um, the Allied Race mount or whatever the weird. It's kind of like a um, more sleek version of the Turbo Strider things, whatever they are, the gnome mounts. It's just kind of all curved and stuff. It's like if, uh, you know, like Apple made a, a gnome mount, basically. <laughs> what actually are the gnome mounts called? Is it a Turbo Strider or something like that? Yeah. Well, that's what that one's called. That's the fancy one. Ooh, um, yeah, I don't remember the name of it. Search for it. It's fine. It's, uh, it's something, anyway. Well, it's not who I wanted to target. But... Cool. Um, which of the swords do we need to get today? Winter's Edge. Uh, I can't go. Yeah. Um, also two days into the... Well, I can't remember the name. <laughs> the human faction. What? Um, Stormwind. There we go. So only three days left on that one as well. I'm contemplating streaming um, again tomorrow as well. Just like I said, to keep the uh, the WoW content on stream, and then I can do other stuff kind of for the rest of the day as well, which is probably more healthy, to be fair, rather than just sitting and playing WoW all day. Just kind of what it turned into sometimes. Just get a bit carried away with uh, rep grinds and <laughs> mount farming. Because in the grand scheme of things, I am still like super behind in terms of mount collecting. It's too far away. Like I basically have zero mounts from Legion. I think I might have maybe two total Legion mounts. Um, why is it always a pain to click crystal song? I should really put a quest marker on that as well. For where this is all the time, because there are three different sword quests. I do actually like the sword quests, because it kind of encourages that classic WoW gameplay loop, where you have to actually read the quest text to figure out what you have to do, because it doesn't just give you a quest marker and go, oh yeah, here's how you do it. It's like with the Winter's Edge one, it just says, uh, that's the wrong quest it's given me. It wants you to bring him Winter's Edge, and it puts your quest marker on the lake, I think, where you get it from. Yeah, puts it all the way down here. But the actual item you need to get that is all the way over here in Crystal Song, like on this bit. It's like this bit in ahead of us here, this tower, is where you actually get the item you need to take to the lake to get the sword. And there's another one, um get it from a different lake? I think it's the one in Zolderak? Or like Grizzly Hills next to Zolderak? Something like that. It's one of the lakes around there where you have to bring the person who has the sword, like Winter Hyacinths or whatever, flowers that you pick from uh, here, basically. <laughs> but again, the quest marker literally just tells you to go to the lake, rather than actually telling you where to get the flowers, whatever. I do kind of appreciate that old school design. Though I am one of those people who, when I play Classic, does have like a quest deal or whatever that just tells me where everything is. <laughs> I 
I kind of like a bit more mystery and having to work out how to solve a problem at like the end game content. I don't necessarily enjoy it when I'm trying to level up a character and trying to like get to that stuff, if that makes sense. Like I'd be more okay with it if like BFA had a bunch of quests that were like, oh yeah, here's this kind of vague thing you have to go and do, try and figure it out. Than if, you know, all of the leveling content in WAD and Legion and stuff was all like, oh yeah, it's a mystery, figure it out. Because that would just be really irritating, trying to level up alts and uh, try the game out in different ways if you just have to solve 200 puzzles to get there. But like when it's stuff like this, like farming old content or endgame stuff, having like a bit of a mystery and having to work it out and that sort of more old school design I think is quite fun. It's certainly more um, interesting and engaging gameplay than just go here, kill five guys, go here, kill another five guys, go here, kill a dragon. <laughs> like, that's basically the gameplay loop of the Argent Crusade. And then you've got these nice bits that kind of break it up, these mystery bits. Not necessarily mysteries, they're not really that hard and complicated, you just have to read quest text, but it's not just... The game doesn't just point you to how to solve the problem. Like, you have to put some effort in and figure it out. I think it, like, vaguely tells you where to go. Yeah. In Southern Crystal Sun Forest, overlooking the Crystal Vale's exit, Crystal Vice exit, you will find Lord Everblaze. But again, it gives you, like, directions, kind of like Classic does, but it doesn't give you, like, spot-on quest markers, like BFA. <laughs> it just tells you where everything is immediately. There's no real, you know, challenge to that. So just realize that dragon is named Glaceon. You do also actually get some, like, community input when you're doing the Argent Crusade stuff. I've had it, like, the past few days. I don't think I caught either of them on stream. Um, I was doing the, the frog sword quest, where you have to kiss a bunch of people, or kiss a bunch of frogs to get the sword. And uh, someone else was doing the same quest at the same time as me. They got the thing before me, and then were like jumping up and down the spot and trying to bring me over to it, so I could just get the sword from there, like thing, which is really nice. And then I was doing uh, jousting the other day as well, and uh, a mage just stood on the edge and kept throwing like ice bolts at things after I'd hit them. So I just instant, so like I just instantly cleared all the jousting thing without me having to do anything. That was really nice. It's like things like this is stuff that you don't really see in the like the BFA, like the modern game. Like the community element just seems to be gone. And the classic sort of puzzle solving bits and pieces are also gone. Whereas when you come back and play Wrath of the Lich King, for some reason people are still like really nice and helpful and that community is back again. It's strange to me. <laughs> I genuinely cannot wait until Shadowlands comes out and I have another sprint option rather than just cheer speed and then walk. That's why I enjoy running content on my Demon Hunter so much because you just continuously regenerate dashes and you constantly feel like you're moving through stuff really quick. Whereas, like, running stuff my Hunter, yeah, I've got a speed boost, but then it runs out after 10 seconds, and I just have to walk for the rest of the dungeon. More maneuverability will be really nice for running old content. I mean, it'd be really nice Blizzard to just give me, uh, you know beta access on the next wave so I can actually play it and find out how good it is. Because you can copy your characters in now, I believe. So we can actually play around with 
our current like gear and content in Shadowlands and see how different it is, I guess. So I do like the fact that you can just skip the first two bosses of this dungeon. Like, by the time she's finished her monologue, you're at the third boss. I will show you the might of the Lich King. What Most dungeons have, like, something in place to stop you from doing that, like an invisible door or whatever. It's like uh, Magister's Terrace it has a door that blocks you from skipping past bosses or whatever, so you have to fight each boss in order. Which does make a lot of sense, to be honest, whereas this dungeon just has open doors that you can just run through and go straight to the next one. I think this is the only boss that has a gate that stops you from just going to the final boss. And that's it. Well, hopefully. Today is the day we get the blue Brodrick and then I don't have to fly down here every day when I'm doing the sword quests. I was going to say, is he bugged out again, but then he flew into the view. This will seem to be one of the... Oh, God damn it. One of the buggiest dungeons. That I've, like, ran multiple times. Like, how many times I've seen that boss just bug out and not work. <laughs> or he resets, even though you're stood in the boss arena, like, fighting him. I think it was during the time walking event he was like Beyblading on the spot and then just despawned. And reset. I can kind of understand it breaking when I'm just like speeding through the dungeon and running past him at, you know, 90% movement speed or whatever and like missing trigger boxes and stuff, but when it breaks during time walking, I feel like the dungeon is just a bit broken. <laughs> Um, I'm just going to get to a flight path and I'm going to have to step away for a couple minutes, but uh, hopefully it won't be too long. Congratulations. Got to congratulate for something. I'm not really sure which is actually the closest flight path. They look about the same distance on the map. I think the one south might actually be closer. <laughs> I'm going to the one over here. Actually, um, I'll be back in a few minutes.
Sorry about that. Having a uh, upset stomach is not a great time when you're on the internet live. <laughs> to be honest. Need help? Be careful. But damn, we are uh, finished the first kind of milestone of the Argent Crusade today. It's a big step forward. Um, what our time are we on? Actually, we're only half an hour in. So. What I'm gonna do is go hand this in, and then I think we're gonna hop back over to um, hop back over to Rush Ball and go through that grind. I think. And while we're on this flight path, um, I am actually gonna just look something up. So I'll just leave you with this um, beautiful fly. <laughs> Unfortunately, my Google Chrome is not wanting to cooperate with my Google searches, so uh, we're just kind of fly on back. I would also put some music on for you guys, because I just realised uh, there's no WoW music. And I usually have the music set up before the stream, so... Uh, that's something I need to do new. Um, I should have the music playlist from a previous stream somewhere in here. There we go. That's... nope. There we go. Just gonna turn that down a bit for me. Hopefully that's not super loud on stream. Still loud enough. I'm wondering if the um, people were saying you could get them from island expeditions were actually meaning warfront. Hmm. Oh, interesting. You can actually get them from going and doing stuff in the uh, the other like battleground type stuff um nope <laughs> which one is currently active i think i have the markers for all the codos this one yes you get a seventh legion medal from every one of these you finish I also don't know if my, like, timer has reset. Ooh, that might be good to get. Um, I don't know if my timer has actually reset for the rares out there. We could go do that rather than Rust Bolt. It's just something different to do. Kind of the perks of not being a super big streamer is that you can get away with going to battlegrounds and not getting murdered by people. <laughs> it's real nice. Where is the other one? It's up here somewhere, isn't it? That's Plaguelands. Or Athy Highlands, there we go. I guess we control that one so there's no world quests, or the other way around? I don't know. One or the other. There's uh, this 
I'm gonna guess I can't do that one. I think I've tried to do that one before, and it's like weirdly um I can't remember what the wording is for it, but basically you like phase in and out of existence with a group of players. So you can be fighting the boss with it with a like massive group, and then you get phased into another version of the same area and you're by yourself fighting the thing. You just instantly die. Which is great. Yeah, how many do I actually need? A lot, right? Yeah, 62. Well, I can at least shave some off of that, and then I have to do the, um... The battles and assaults constantly to get the rest. Um... Is there an assault happening currently? No. I used to know when the assault timer was as well. I think that's on a website somewhere. Probably Wowhead, actually, thinking about it. So we will check that while we're uh, heading on over there at some point. Lands on that side, doesn't it? Also, should probably run the dungeon just to get the extra. A uh, few Argent Crusade metal things. Wherever they are. Argent seals or something, isn't it? Champion seals? Something like that. Yeah, I really want that. That hippogriff. I think that's really cool. It'd be nice if you get those giant worms as a mount or something. Pretty sure you can tame them as a hunter. Can't remember if they're actually any good or not, but. <laughs> Revered with the Alliance Vanguard. <laughs> nice. I don't even know what the Alliance Vanguard is. It's classic. Um... Oh, it's this block down here. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I see, yeah, you get alliance rep for all of these. Pretty good. There we go. There it is. No Morgan Mechanist right now. Let's get that on a favourite, god damn it. So I've got all these extra things in here I haven't boxed yet. There it is. The Nomergan colour scheme is just a nice colour scheme, honestly. The like purple and orange, or purple and like bronzy gold type colour, it's really cool. Um, I actually can't be asked to run that dungeon, so let's go do this warfront thing. I know it'll speed up the whole process, but I don't mind it taking a little bit longer. I just enjoy doing the Argent Crusade stuff at this point. So. May as well make the most of it.
might make um, some sort of compilation type thing when we actually hit 200 mounts. Of just that like point of unboxing them and like getting the next like cool thing to add to the collection. I think it'd be kind of cool. Be a fun little thing for YouTube, I guess. Got a good chunk so far, like on stream. I did like unbox all the Netherwing ones off stream or whatever. We still got the moment of actually going and getting the first one after that like 40 minute flight path backwards and forwards. No, I think I've got all the um all other than the first, I think, Argent Crusade mount on stream so far. We've got a fair few. Oh, that's something I didn't look as well, is do you get service mills every time you run the Balford Stronggrad or whatever? Because it might be worth just farming them out if it's... You get one every time. I need to switch hunter pets, so hopefully it hasn't given me the um the pterodactyl. Switch over to my griffin. Person drop of man. Oh, she has a chance to improve you. I'm just doing my basic rotation, I'm not doing anything fancy. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the. Might even be this thing I'm flying over to now. Can he drop one as well, Cross? Sure the thing yeah, it's this. This is the thing I've already got the mount from. The Chimera. Yeah, I don't have it on my thing anymore. I used to have it on my uh, like grid for ages. It's the like Ashenville Chimera, yeah, that. Really cool mount. Oh, there it is. It's Warlock in here now. Yeah. Warlocks and Hunters really are just kind of broken on the damage output, aren't they? Uh, yeah, there's a couple more of this way. I got stuck on a tree. I can't if this one drops a mount or not, I'm gonna fight it anyway. No, oh, I got feared. <laughs> I think I vaguely remember this place from Classic. This, like, tower area? Well, the, like, you know, the older version of this place. This is literally the uh, the same quest from Nashatar where you have to go around and collect statues. I, I 
Those are also highborn relics, actually. Yeah, this is literally the same quest. <laughs> cool. Even the world crests repeat themselves. I can't say I've ever seen PvP take place in these areas. I guess I- I mean I don't play on the PvP realm, so there might be more stuff happening here. In like actual dedicated PvP realms, but I don't think I've really seen PvP actually occur in the Warfronts. Everyone just flies around, kills their things they need for mounts and leaves. Or at least that's the impression I've gotten from my time. I feel like this guy might drop him out. Yeah, I'm not sure what the actual rotation is on the um, stuff. The, these war fronts, like in terms of when you can actually get mounts again. Because I'm pretty sure it's uh, it's much longer than a week. A cold Terran hunter. They not need any more, or do they not realise that they can tag things I'm fighting to? <laughs> I feel like that crap might also drop one. I could be wrong. I think I might be the guy back here actually that can drop one. Yeah, Zim. Of course, we're wrong. I don't remember. That ability. Just gonna get rid of that. And that one. Oh, damn it. Stop, keep spawning healing totems, you guess. I just want a mount if you can drop one. <laughs> is the stuff to do. One down here. I wonder if this will actually keep track for me in terms of... which ones I can do. Um... Yeah, I don't actually remember which ones drop mount, other than the bear person and the chimera. sure this big ass naga doesn't. Oh wow, that's up for hover over and she tells me. Um that does not look like it. Drops a whole bunch of sentinel lights. Oh, I'm pretty sure this guy drops me out so. Mad further. How fortunate. 
Goes down like a sack of bricks as well. Does he actually drop one? <laughs> Not that I can see on the list, I'll be honest. Oh, he did do. He sounds like someone that I would have fought before. You? Oh. Well, people are over here fighting you. Um, a dwarf hunter, so I can't actually help. I was making sure I wasn't going to just instantly kill his pet by, like, charging in and stomping constantly. <laughs> A lot of stuff I've accurate over here. the downside to having a giant AoE thing just going off constantly. <laughs> oh yep, still in combat with those two. And now that one. Hopefully nothing respawns, that could be a pain in the ass. Uh, okay, the thing I have to kill is a behemoth. What item level is that actually? <laughs> Probably low. Yeah, 355 down. Yeah, that is low. There's a dark shore cache. Do they contain service medals? It takes a lot of aggro, apparently. Contains mostly war resources. We probably should attack those guys first. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the um, all the things will probably tell me if I just have a look through it. Um, drop. That literally just gives you all the drops. Um, it's gonna be in drops, but it's just this is all of them. <laughs> I'm pretty sure black paw is one of the bears that you get from here. I'm pretty sure there's a whole bunch of tigers. Dark spawn or dark shore. Um, yep, I have no idea. Without looking up a literal list of how to get them. absent-mindedly hitting one, two, three. Oh, cool. What's that fight over? It'd be nice if it just told me from the map, to be honest, considering this. I think it's handy notes that adds these skulls. It adds, like, stars around the ones that drop maps, usually, but not for Darkshaw. Which is kind of irritating. Okay. 
Oh, the Frightened Kodo spawns here, according to Handy Notes, which it spawns in many places, to my knowledge. Huh. This looks like a lot of, uh, a lot of bots to me. <laughs> Just spam farming. God, which one's like the head of, is the head of the party? <laughs> Jesus Christ. How the fuck do you even do anything here with this guy? Like, just spam targeting everything. Are they gonna spam target me as well? Depends how their macro thing is set up, but... I feel like somebody needs to ban these guys. They don't even hide it. Like, there's just packs of them. They all have basically the same name. They just change one letter, and it's the same on the other side. This is genuinely fucking stupid. I'm just going to finish my quest here, then I'm going to probably turn off the stream, but I'm going to sit here and just fucking report all of them. Because I'm kind of tired of this <laughs> botting thing. Like, just from... Just from the bits of it I've seen, it's really irritating. Because they do this in, like, every single potential farming spot across the entire game. Anything that has infinite respawns, anything that drops, you know, decent stuff. Also, because of their, like, constant spam circle thing, and because they're horde, I also can't get in there to get the stuff without going in there and just murdering them. I'm kind of just having to camp this spot here. And hope I tag first, which I'm not doing. Yeah, this is stupid. Try and get in there before they do another star fall, I guess. I wonder what happens if I do just start attacking them. Like, would they all auto-target me? Would they be able to auto-target me? Because they're seemingly set up to just target the dark scale. Not one of them has aggroed onto me yet, basically. Because, I mean, they are just essentially the equivalent of an AI. Just a really basic one. Right, um, like I said, I'm just gonna leave things off here with this disgusting display of botting, to be honest. Um, we have made some good progress today, though. Got uh, an extra mount, um, and also, like I said, working towards this, we're all now, basically, 50 away from getting that done as well, which would be nice. Uh, gonna look into just, you know, fast ways of farming those service medals so I can get that done. Nice and fast, uh, so we can get that cool mount, because I really want one. Um, other than that, I will see you guys uh, next time.